Right, today we're going to be looking at making equal groups. We're going to be looking at making equal groups. So to start with, we're going to look at what it means to be in a group. So how many are in this group? How many are in this group here? How many kittens? There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five kittens in this group. How many owls are in this group here? How many owls are in this group here? One, I use my mouse for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six owls in this group. How many meerkats are in this group? This group. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight meerkats in this group. There's just one group of eight meerkats. One group of eight meerkats. How many penguins are in this group? How many penguins are in this group? There are one, two, three, four, five. There are five penguins in this group. Or there is one group of five penguins. One group of five penguins. How many roosters are there in this group? How many roosters? Are well, they're in this group here. There are four roosters in this group. Or oh, there is one group of four roosters. One group of four roosters. How many flamingos are in this group? How many flamingos are in this group? I'm going to use my pointer now to help you out. One, two, count along with me. Three, four, five, seven, nine. There are ten flamingos in this group. Or there is one group of ten flamingos. There is one group of 10 flamingos. In that group there are 10. How many sparrows, how many little birds are in this group here? How many little, little birds are in this group? Count them in your head quickly. There are six sparrows. There are six sparrows. Or there is one group of six sparrows. One group of six sparrows. Now what we're going to look at also is this word up here. Okay, and that word is equal. Can you say that word? And again, equal. As loud as you can and as quietly as you can. So, are these groups equal or not equal? Are these groups equal or not equal? So, are they the same size or not the same size? So, in this group, there are one, two, three, four camels. And in this group up here, there are one, two, three, four camels. So, those group has four and four. So they are equal. Their the groups of camels are equal. What about these fish? Are they equal or not equal? Count them up and see if you can tell me. Are they equal or not equal? So in this group, there are four. In this group, there are three. And in this group here, right over there, 
I can't quite catch them, is there are three. So are these groups equal or not equal? They are not equal because this one above me, this one up here, this group has four fish in it and the others have three. So it's not equal, it's not an equal group. What about these turtles? Let's cut them together. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And down here, one, two, three, four, five. So they are all groups of five. So they are equal. They are equal. They are all the, all the same number, aren't they? So that means they're equal. But these sheep. One more then, I think. I think there's one more. The far away sheep. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look a bit closer. One, two, three, four, five, five. And the ones just in front of us here. One, two, three, four, five. There are five. So we have five, five. And right off in the distance, there are six. There are six. So are they equal? or not equal. They're not equal, yeah that's right, because these ones right over here, they are, there are six of them aren't there, there are six, so they're not equal because they're not. There was one more, one more, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so they are, they are equal or not equal. That's right, they're equal because each group, wrong way, each group has three squirrels. Now, we're going to look at those equal groups again, those groups that were equal before. Okay, so we know that they're equal now, so we don't need to think about that. We, what we're looking at, there are how many equal groups? So how many groups are there? One group and there's another group there. So there's the far away group and there's the close group. So there are two groups. There are two groups of how many are in each group? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there are two equal groups. Oh, I don't know why that happened. There are two equal groups of four. There are two equal groups of four. So you can see that there. There's one group there and another group there. And all together, there are blank all together. So all together, there are two equal groups. But all together, all together, there are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There were eight all together. Let's try another one. Oh, there are eight all together. It says, it says so there. There are how many equal groups of blank? So there is one group, two groups, three groups. So there's this group here, one, second group, and the far away group makes three groups. Okay. There are three equal groups and in each group there are one, two, three, four, five. There are three equal groups of five. There they are, one group, two groups, three groups, three equal groups of five. And there are how many all together? So there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 all together. And the last one, oh, the first bit's been done for us. There are four equal groups of three. There are four equal groups of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they're equal. And there are four circles. So that means there are four equal groups of three. Four equal group four equal groups of three. And that means there are one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. No, I should be counting in three, shouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve squirrels all together. So that means that now it's over to you to have a go. Okay, it's over to you to have a go now um, at the slides. They're very similar. You just have to work out how many groups there are and how many are in each group and then how many all together. So you're looking at how many groups, how many are in each group and how many all together. It may be a little bit tricky if you need to use counters or anything else. If you have at home pen lids or paper clips or bits of pasta or whatever you need to use. Okay. So good luck.